Hi there, it's Robert here and I'm always looking for new ways to engage students, particularly using technology. And Lightboard Studios fit right into that. So that's what we'll be talking about today. They're not my invention. Uh, it was Professor Michael Peshkin from Northwestern University. Uh, but I've built the first three of these at La Trobe. And they've been really successful in engaging students. Students love to see this sort of format. But also staff have loved to, to use these sort of Lightboard Studios. Let's talk about the problem first off though. Um, we've got a few different means that we normally use in lectures to communicate with people. PowerPoints or before that overhead transparencies are a common one. And they can be great for presenting lots of information, but not necessarily so great for handling an on the fly question and doing lots of diagrams and things like that. Worked examples. Now conversely, blackboards or whiteboards tend to be really good for, for drawing up things, sketching out things quickly, but in terms of uh, being able to see our audience all the time, well, we have this problem where we normally need to turn around so we can actually see what we're writing. Uh, so we lose that connection with students. Um, when we're talking about videos, it's even more important to maintain as much connection as we can with students. So what we have is these Lightboard Studios. And the basic idea is that you are writing, it's, you're actually writing, it looks like you're writing in midair with a fluoro marker. And you're doing it as if you were writing on a whiteboard or a blackboard, that sort of thing. And you're able to, to give your demonstration or, or lecture that way. And you can use this, you can think of many different use case scenarios of within uh, electronic engineering, which is my own specialty, uh, mechanical engineering, uh, civil engineering, when you're talking about forces and, and structures and loadings and things, chemical engineering, uh, all sorts of different areas within engineering use diagrams and could benefit from this sort of explanatory power. So how do they work? Well, essentially what you're writing on is a pane of glass, a special pane of glass uh, that's a low iron glass. So the low iron glass is a, has a very high clarity to it. It's about 10 mil thick. And what you do is you light the edge of it with LEDs. Now we build our frames out of 3030 uh, aluminium extrusion and the glass fits perfectly into the slots into that extrusion and um, they're cushioned by the edge lit uh, LED strips that we have in there. Now we write, write with fluoro markers um, and the light that's bounced up and down through total internal reflection from those LEDs really makes these fluoro markers stand out and, and really clear. And what we do then is we have a camera, I normally use a digital SLR and capture it through the, the glass and so you're standing on the other side and talking as if you were talking to the audience, uh, which is the camera, um, and writing up your, your diagrams and things like that. And then in software, later on, we flip the image. So you don't need to learn how to write back to front or in mirror writing or anything like that. Now, proper studios like this, you can set up for under a couple of grand, including cameras and things like that. Um, so you've got a black backdrop and some lights and things. Um, otherwise, I've seen people do um, home adaptions with using an empty picture frame and, and um, using extra lighting and things on the front of it. Uh, those sort of things are possible as well. Now, the end result's not quite as, as crisp and clear, um, but you can get pretty good results from it too. Hopefully that helps people out and, and gives them some keys to an engaging way of creating this, this lecture content. 